Hello, my name is Andrew Howell. I'm here reviewing the Red Star DSLR Shoulder Rig Version 4. It comes with an LCD screen, LED light, shotgun microphone, follow focus unit, map box, and of course the base shoulder rig here. We'll go ahead and start out with the LCD viewfinder here. Alright, so we have your LCD monitor here. It uh, does 1080p HD. It comes with this nice cloth uh, mat over it so you can block the light so you're not getting a lot of glare on it. It also comes with this plastic hood as well. A little easier to attach, a little easier to get off, and it uh, doesn't block quite as much light, but it's a little sturdier. Okay, so on the back of the LCD here we have our component, YCBCR, and we also have our composite inputs. There's two of those. Uh, you have your audio input here, HDMI input, power switch for the battery. It'll turn it off of standby and just stop using the battery entirely if you're not going to use it for a while. You have your AC input if you want to use your power adapter here. It'll just plug right into your wall socket. The LCD screen does not come with a battery. I've attached a Sony NPF330 uh, onto the back here. It uses the same battery as your LED light. If for some reason you don't want to use the light and you want to use your monitor, then you can do that. Alright, so the LCD screen here, as you see, is attached to the hot shoe on the camera itself. It's a little better placement to have it than to have your shotgun microphone up there like they do in the pictures because your shotgun microphone won't pick up as well all the way in the back here underneath the matte box. So that's where I went ahead and attached mine. Moving on to the matte box, it's plastic, it's sturdy, the flags are big enough, and it's pretty light so it works exactly how you'd need. Uh, currently I have my Canon 18 to 135 millimeter lens mounted through here. Uh, it'll fit through just fine in the back. However, if you have a, any larger lens, I have here my uh, Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter lens. The flange here will not fit through the back of the matte box, so you actually have to insert the lens through the matte box to mount to your camera, or else it's not going to fit. With the Red Star Follow Focus version 2 we have here, uh, they have now added these nice uh, pins in here so that what you'll do is you'll set your first point of focus, your first subject, then you'll move this pin over and lock it down. So now it can't go any further than that. You'll move to your second point of focus, your second subject or whatever object you want to focus on, and move this pin back up into here and tighten it down. And now you can switch between both points of focus, no problem at all. Uh, works a lot better than their previous version where you'd have to mark each point of focus and move manually to them and just hope you didn't go too far or not far enough. So this new design works extremely well in comparison to the previous model. I have my LED light, my shotgun microphone attached to the 7 inch and 11 inch articulating arms. These are rock solid, they're not going anywhere. Once you get them tightened down, you're good to go. The base rig in and of itself here is extremely solid. Once you get all your nuts tightened down, you're going to have no issues with wobble at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn everything on here so you can go ahead and see what I'm seeing. Alright, we'll go ahead and test the shotgun microphone now. You, all the audio you're hearing at the moment is all coming from that shotgun microphone. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around here. It's set to the 90 degrees and we should get our best audio right about there, right where your subject's going to be. And when we turn it back around, you'll hear a significant decrease from behind the camera. So it's very directional, works exceptionally well. Uh, I'll go ahead and switch it to 120 degrees here. And we'll flip it around again, same kind of deal. This is going to pick up a little bit wider angle, so it'd be if you have a group of people in front of you rather than just a single person, when you turn it around, your audio is going to be a little bit wider range that's going to pick up some good volume. Uh, all in all, it works really well. I'm very impressed with it. In comparison to the onboard microphone, it does much better. All right, and then on to the LED light here. We'll go ahead and flip it on. And I'll turn it up all the way here. And now you're getting just the video from the camera here. Go ahead and get her in focus with our follow focus unit. And you can see just how bright that gets. And we'll turn it down here. But you've got quite a bit of control over your brightness there. You can tell just how much dimmer we're getting. So you have lots play around with there and then it will go all the way off. So there's from off to 
all the way up there and that does really well. Now I got the focus set for the background so now we can with our follow focus unit flip between the camera in focus the background in focus and we can do this all day. Works exceptionally well. The only three disadvantages to this kit that I can think of right now are that you can't use your Canon battery pack uh, your, if you have a large flange on the end of your lens, like a wide-angle lens would, uh, you have to insert it through the front of the matte box, which is kind of annoying that you'd have to mount your lens. And then if you want to change your battery, you have to unmount your lens, take the camera off, change the battery, put the camera back on, and remount the lens through the matte box here. So that can be kind of annoying. The last one would be that there's no counterweight on the back of the shoulder mount here and there's no pole to rest on your chest if you want to get the weight off your arms. Other than those three disadvantages, there's nothing wrong with this kit at all. It's perfect for any DSLR filmmaker. Uh, the LCD screen is bright. It has every kind of connection you could need. The LED light is extremely bright and can be toned down really dim. has a built-in color filter. The shotgun microphone is directional, works perfectly. The matte box blocks out all the light it needs to, even though it's plastic, which really doesn't matter. It's light, easy to move. Uh, the follow focus is really smooth, easy to adjust between subjects. Uh, your base rig is really solid. I was greatly impressed by that. So this has been a review for the Red Star DSLR Shoulder Rig version 4.